So, I have a confession to make. I've been keeping a lot of my building tricks secret from you guys, and I think maybe it's time to start sharing them. So without further ado, here's three simple tricks that I use in all of my builds. Did you know that in Lumber, every item in the back of a truck has item ownership when you sit in the driver's seat? This means that anything above the truck bed also has item ownership. Some players, including myself, have found ways to utilize trucks to debug sawmills and auto woodcutters, making them work faster in servers with laggy bases. Here's how you can do it. I'm going to be debugging a sawmill, but if you want the auto woodcutter tutorial, let me know in the comments. First, place a truck spawn pad above the sawmill that you want to debug. Next, put a half door in the back, two units over from the side of the spawn pad. This door will lock your truck in place, preventing it from falling on the sawmill. Next, spawn the truck and delete the spawn pad. To test it, find a laggy server and put a piece of wood in the sawmill. Then, sit in the driver's seat of the truck. The wood should mill as if there was no lag in the server. Most users know about invisibilizing blueprints with two players. But what if I told you there's another way you could do it solo? Here's how. First take a blueprint like a smooth wall and place it where you want it to be invisible. Then press check and move on the blueprint and take it to the edge of your plot. Rotate it until it shows as red when only one unit is off of the base. Place it down and it should become invisible. Once it's invisible you can put other blueprints where the invisible one was. After reloading your base, the previously invisible blueprint will become visible again. This glitch only works with certain blueprints but it can be very useful and faster than using a friend or alternate account to make blueprints invisible. For example, I found it works with fat doors, which makes creating door bridges much faster and easier than with other methods that I've seen. If you have a large base and are tired of using a ladder to reach the top, I have the solution for you. The chair elevator, or the chair elevator, whatever you prefer. This design has proven very useful to me and you may have even seen me use it in some of my videos. Here's how you build it. First, stack smooth wall blueprints on top of each other until you reach the desired height. Then, place chairs in a zigzag pattern in front of the smooth walls. Then, delete the smooth wall blueprints behind the chairs. Please note that the chair elevator may not work well in laggy servers. However, if you hold an axe while going up, each seat will debug and you will ascend the chair elevator much quicker. I hope these designs work for you and if you have any questions please ask me in the comments. I use these tricks literally every time I build and I want you to understand everything you need to know about them so you can use them too.